is Jason with Dave's Computer Tips with another how-to video for you. This one's on how to get menu bar for Edge. Yes, this is a Dick Evans article. I'll leave a link down below so you can check it out. But he was trying to show you guys how you can add the menu bar. The one you remember in Internet Explorer had the menu bar, had the file, edit, view, favorite, drop down menus, which I actually really like. Uh, and Edge, the new Edge browser does not have that. So he was showing us how you can actually add that back to your Edge browser. And actually, I'm going to show you how to do that right here on this video. So if you want to see his article, go down below. It's a link down below in the com in the um, description. And I'm going to show you how to do this. Before we get going, please hit the like button on this video. It really helps out our channel. Also, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on any new how-to videos. Okay, so first thing we want to do is we want to turn on the edge browser so you go down to the bottom of your screen it mine's already open so you use right there that's what the edge browsers um, icon looks like you're going to click on that there we are the next thing we want to do is we want to go to the top to the little three dots in the top right you're going to click on that you're going to go down to extensions and you click on that and then what you're going to do is you're going to click now it's not right here so you have to go to the get extensions for microsoft edge that's where i went and then we want to do that. We're going to go here and here. We're going to go up to the search and we're going to look for that's what it's called. I got to remember the name of it. <laughs> I should have paid attention on that part. It's called, okay, proper. So we got proper menu bar. That's what we're looking for right there. Here it is. It's called proper menu bar for Microsoft Edge. And we're going to hit get. And I'm going to add extension. That's what we want to do. So when this pops up, it's going to, you know, say add. Pro they want to make sure you're okay with adding it. So you hit add. And it's coming. And it's going to load. Yes, don't do that. Thank you for installing. Yeah, you're welcome. Make sure you read things before you click on anything. I always find that important. Don't click this install part. That's actually for something different. Um, to get the thing, you want to go up to the top now and hit the plus sign. See, right there. You're going to notice this will pop up after you install it. So this little plus sign at the top right, you're going to click on it. It's on. So you're going to have the extensions. So here they are, as you can see. The tabs are here. Edit, cut and copy. Everything's right here. Even your history bar is here. And that, and now if you, now if you want to turn it off, you can turn it off. You can go off and then it goes away. But if you turn it back on, it's right here. So as you can see right above, the menu bar is now appeared on your on your uh, Microsoft Edge browser. So if we get out of here, we go, okay, we're out. Then we go back down here, open the browser back up. And then if you wanted to show, you had to click that. Like this. Oh, yeah, that's what it is. You go like that. We got to make sure it's on. That was my fault. It doesn't work on web page. Please. Oh, that's interesting. Now, that's something I'm glad we did because that actually tells me that it doesn't work on every web page. That's odd. So we're going to click this. Is on and it's on. Though so There it is. So for some reason, it will not work on the main MSN web page. So there's a good warning for you. If you're wondering why it didn't show up, that is the reason. So if we go to, let's say, Facebook, um, we go Facebook.com and we go there. It's going to appear so it looks like let's check a couple more for you guys so you guys know it works so we're going to go to and i don't know where we're going to go guys um i don't know where we're going i actually got to think of the places i want to go let's go to twitter i don't even use twitter anymore <laughs> twitter, don't go. i'm not on twitter okay so it's still there so it looks like it's just the main msn thing it doesn't show it on but you're going to get this top bar, which I like, and it gives you all the drop down menus as we had before in Internet Explorer. So that's how you do it, guys. Took a little longer than I thought it would. It, sh it doesn't take very long, but I wanted to make sure you guys saw where it appeared, where it didn't appear. And if you want to shut it off, you just click on the little plus and turn it off. So that's how easy it is to get menu bar for Edge. Thanks, Dick Evans. Make sure to check out davescomputertips.com. Uh, where all, all our articles are, and make sure to subscribe to this channel. And thanks for watching.